good morning student today i have decided to discuss a very unique and very very important factor which is which is important topic which which, which is having very close, very important very much importance as far as the poultry business is concerned today we will discuss the management of housing methods in 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 in, in, the, in the in the in the poultry so in poultry we have the, the starting of the poultry business here we have uh, initially the poultry birds they are they are not being domesticated they are the wild species but when soon or later when we we, we understood the importance of the uh, poultry product like egg poag and the, the poultry meat or chicken then then we have started uh, that the human being started domestication of poultry and initially they, there are there are the there are the free range method was there and then then we have uh, the cage system then deep litter system like that we have uh, so many method and in this topic i'll discuss one by one and that the uh, entire that the uh, management of poultry under this we'll have not only the housing we'll discuss the the thermoregulatory system because the the temperature and and the environmental conditions they are to to be in in the, in the in, as per the need and the required of the of the of the of the of the, of the highest return from the poultry so these all are the things that the feeding also then the healthcare management all these things we'll discuss over here and we'll also discuss that the space requirement uh, for for management of poultry so the, all the looking to all these things i am i am just sharing the screen with you so you please please stay with me and then we'll have a discussion on on that so thank you very much i am i am just to Good morning, students. Today, I have decided to discuss about the housing system in poultry and what kind of that uh, housing facilities we can provide for the poultry birds. And we will discuss the basic principles and basic that the amenities those who are required uh, for formation of housing uh, for poultry birds. So, the learning outcome of this. Particular topic is that we will learn about the principle and type of housing in poultry, and the space requirement. Those who are being funded for the poultry, but that that will be the final outcome of this particular lecture. So now let us have a little bit that uh, primary information about the poultry birds. As we know that the poultry birds generally which we have in in our society or in the business of the poultry farming, they came from the family of phasianidae and under which we have two type of birds as we know that the birds and the business of poultry is been divided among three four category out of that uh, the, the actual farming is about layer farming and the broiler farming layer farming is that that when we have intent to have a egg production this is the prime objective of the business whereas in the broiler farming we know that the, the birds kept for the for the chicken purpose so th these are the two generally the, the the form of farming and third one generally which we have the, the backyard poultry that generally we have in rural area where the people they are keeping uh, not more than 50 birds at their home and for, for their domestic need they, they are keeping these birds they utilize their eggs and if the population increases they they, they also use these birds as a, as a chicken purpose so that kind of that uh, that system we are having in our country, and uh, worldwide the, this this system being followed by everywhere. So, but the intent intentions are very clear that the, the birds, those who are kept for the broilers, they are like that. They came under the category of the Japanese quails, under which we have a two type of breeds. Those who are you know, two type of species, those they are they are thoroughly available in entire country. Number one, the consuming consuming, and the, the uh, second one is Japonica, Corchumic Japonica. And then the fowl, generally the, the Gallus uh, domesticus and the Gallus Gallus. These are the two that is the zoological name of these birds, those we are having in the, in, in the poultry form, in the form of the either in the form of the layers or in the form of the broilers. Then we have a, 
turkey birds and although this this birds are not uh, that that much of popular in our country but in 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 middle east we will we find that the people those who are very much preferring the chicken of uh, these these ducks they they came from the family of mali maligre maligredi and the maligres the galopava is the scientific name of these birds then the third one is uh, those who are people those who are keeping them for egg and for some time for 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 demonstrative or sometimes the ornamental that 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 kind of poultry is that uh, under which we, we people keep the ducks they came from the family anatidi anatidi and and as well plated in the physiological name of this particular class so these are few birds those we are generally having domestication elsewhere in the world now let us have a first that why we have a poultry house why there is a need why why we required poultry house so there are certain certain things certain situation that's why we have to keep poultry inside the house to protect birds from adverse climatic conditions yes this this is the prime that that important thing if we will not protect the bird then then through by uh, uh, because of the the, the the climatic changes we know that the sometimes there is a heavy raining sometimes there is a cold sometimes there is a there is a rise in temperature in summer so to protect the birds from all these natural hazard we have to build the poultry house then the second to ensure easy and economic operation yes it will not uh, keep bird inside the inside the proper housing then how we can manage all the all the operation how we can control the feeding how we can Uh, water them. How we can treat them? How we can vaccinate them? So that's why we we required a particular restricted that zone to whom we are calling the poultry housing to 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 ensure the easy operation, easy economic operations. Otherwise, it will be not possible. It will will allow free range. Then how we can have all the all the all the all the economic activities those who are being required. the for for full full how we can collect the egg even if we are doing the layer business so we have to ensure that the, because the business is very clear that either we are keeping the birds for the chicken purpose or we are keeping the birds for the for for the egg purpose so if we will not protect them in a proper housing then how we will collect the egg how we can ensure that the egg should not be damaged by the by the by the birds itself or sometimes perform the, the external factor those who are those who are interested in the in the In the, in the in the egg of the birds, then to ensure scientific feeding in controlled manner, yes, because we know in the in the case of the broilers, we we we, we provide very controlled feeding. For example, in, initially we we know that the the in in the brooder house when we keep the birds at least for for three four weeks, that that is the time which which is very important for broilers. We have to have a separate feed, and for the layers, we have to have a different type of that feed which is which is required the different type of that the combinations because in broilers we have a very much clarity in our mind that as because we know that the after 6 to 7 weeks of period the, the birds will attain the highest body weight so that is our purpose that that we we allow birds to 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 consume feed as much as they can so that's why sometimes in in broiler house we 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 we, we, we give the provision of 24 hours lighting so we will allow them to take as many as, as as much as they can consume but in the case of the layers that that is a different thing so all these things we, we can controlled only through the protected house if we are having to facilitate proper microclimatic condition in near density of birds yes if we because we know that the the birds they they, they are very much comfortable in between the in between the in between the room uh, in between the five to Five uh, to ten degree temperature of room temperature. It means they can afford up to thirty to thirty five degree centigrade temperature uh, from from upper side, and then they are very much comfortable in fifteen to sixteen degree temperature. So these are if the temperature goes goes rise and above thirty five degree centigrade or go downwards uh, below fifteen degree centigrade, then there there will be the little bit problem. So to ensure that facilitate proper micro climatic condition in a near vicinity of birds we know that the in brooder house we, we know that the the birds those who are being just we have received from the hatchery what kind of temperature and humidity we we have to ensure at least for first 
first week and then second week so like that we have to we, we know that that he, that when the, the birds came from from the on the hatchery it's it's about 91 or 92 degree that fahrenheit is there but we when we when we kept them inside the inside the brooder then we require 85 degree centigrade 85 degree fahrenheit temperature then we reduce further up to 80 degree so that kind of that 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 and uh, that environment the temperature control we can have only if we have the proper housing and the, and we can impose the microclimatic conditions those who are being required for the proper growth and development of the chicks for effective disease control measures yes if we if we if we if we don't house the birds or in the, in the, in the proper housing then how we control the diseases how we can vaccinate them because we, we we have no control on the birds so that's why for for that purpose we required the we required the proper housing then to ensure proper supervision yes of course this is the this is the prime a uh, prime objective that how we can have a proper supervision of the birds if we not assess the pace of their growth and development then how we can how we can have the 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 supervision and how we can how we can achieve our objective of doing the uh, domestication of these birds because we we have very then we have two objectives that first one is if we are keeping the birds for the for the for the meat purpose or for the chicken purpose then we our objective is very clear that we we want that they should attain the weight as many as as much as they can within 6 to 7 weeks of time so that's why we are allowing them the the, the ad that ad lib feed ad lib feed consumptions and we ensure that they they they, they should follow this thing uh, practically so that we can we can supervise the, these things only if we have proper housing and in the case of the layers definitely we require that the balanced group because we 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 had them the control feed and if we not allow if that that can be only possible in the in the, in the situation where we have a control house so when we have a proper housing otherwise uh, we we cannot control how much they they are consuming in what way they are consuming that that can be sometimes injured uh, uh, in our in our in our to achieve our economic goal so that is why these are the few points that we we have to keep in in our consideration while we are we are we are ensuring that the housing for the for the poultry birds now the first that that prime thing which is which is which is the basic that the basic that selection of location at 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 which place we can have planning for for building the poultry housing so let us have a uh, let us have a one by one discussion on that poultry house should be located located away from the residential and industrial area yes we have to ensure this thing that the residential and we have to avoid that the poultry house house the, the site which we select for the poultry housing because these two things the residential area and industrial area both of the both of their they, they are having their their environmental hazards in residential area we we sometimes there are certain zoonotic disease like bird flu or or uh, ibd or sometimes the lasota marax or they, they can they can further spread into the into the human 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 so that's why to avoid that kind of situation we have to cap poultry farm we have to select the site for the poultry farm away from the residential area then the second one the industrial area why we are we are avoiding the selection of site where we have industrial area because industrial area they 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 have the disturbances noise disturbances which we the the the, the, the scientific that that observation they 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 have through their them we have a clear cut that that information that uh, that the industrial has a hazard uh, also uh, also affecting the uh, birds uh, normal growth and development and also it it affect the laying capacity of the layer so that's why we have to avoid both of these situation the poultry house should be in a, in a, in a area where we don't have uh, such type of that situation the the industrial that uh, that, that hub uh, we have to avoid that uh, selecting the site in the in that area and the residential area so both of these things we have to avoid while we are we are selecting the site for the poultry birds it should have proper uh, that connectivity road facilities that is very important that uh, we cannot select the area where we don't have that that kind of connectivity because the the uh, the regular transportation facility and there there are so many other business activities those who are being those who are being uh, performed in in a, in a decent manner only if we have a proper connectivity in which area in in which in which site where 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 we have a proper road connectivity we have to choose that site for for the 
for the purpose of uh, selection of this the particular site for the for the poultry poultry housing then it should have the basic amenities like water and electricity that that this is very much required that if we are selecting a site if they don't have the, the basic amenities like lighting light and the water supply uh, then we have to we have to keep this thing in mind that the area which we are selecting the site which we are selecting at least they have uh, the facility of uh, basic amenities then availability of farm laborers and relative cheaper wages that this is also very important thing that if we are selecting a area where we don't have that 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 the cheaper wages and uh, cheaper uh, that uh, the labor availability that that should be kept in our mind that the area we have and we are selecting we have to know this thing that the, the, the because for all various for performing various poultry operations we require laborers and that labor can be only if, if it is not available at the cheaper price then it will be the the, the, the problem for us so that's why when we are selecting the site we have to keep this thing in our mind that the area where we have a easily and the cheaper labor force availability then the poultry house should be located in an elevated area and there should not be a water logging that that duty which is which is the primary requirement that when we select the site we have to ensure that the, the water logging in that area is not uh, not 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 occurred so that's why when we select this area that, that that's why generally we we found that uh, the poultry housing they are in the in the hilly area where we, we don't have any 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 distilled hazard or any any residential that uh, that situation and also uh, not have a, the, the situation of water logging so when we select the area we have to select little bit the the, the area which is having the heights in the, in the geographical condition of that site then it should have a proper ventilation yes we can't select the area where the the, the poor ventilation that facility is there because we know that the poultry they, they required the in, in poultry housing we required the proper ventilation to avoid so many uh, so many unnecessary unnecessary problems in the poultry birds and the proper ventilated area is very much required for the normal growth and development of the of the birds so that's why we when we select the site we have to keep all these things in our mind now layout of poultry farm we will through that i will show that what is that, that that for a small poultry farm there is no specific that thing which is required but uh, for, for uh, that that is that 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 we learn through the through the discussion a small poultry farm does not required any special layout as it involves construction of only one house the medium and large farm required special consideration for placement of building in the farm premises the basic principle to be observed for layout or layout should not allow visitor outside vehicle near the birds the shed should be located that the fresh air passes through the through the brooder shed followed by grower shed and layer shed this prevents the spread of diseases from layer to brooder and brooder to grower there should be a minimum distance of 50 to 100 feet between chick and grower shed and it distance between the grower and layer shed that we have to maintain if we we are doing the the business of that uh, that uh, that broilers only then only one building is uh, sufficient for 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 our, for our purpose but if we are doing the business of layers then we require the three that houses first one is brooder house then the grower house then third one is layer house so in between these house at least we have to maintain 100 feet distance so the diseases and other that problem they, they are not to be transmitted uh, through because there are certain airborne diseases those who are being transformed uh, from one house to another house so that kind that kind of that situation to avoid uh, situations that kind of uh, the, the problem those we, we have to face it. so we have to at least we have to maintain the proper distance of 100 feet in between the building of these houses but in the case of the broilers we kept only one house and then we allowed the birds to grow up to the up to the 6 7 weeks and then we'll send them for the for for for, for the chicken purpose and then next batch will come and then we will we'll have a same procedure so that kind of that uh, small uh, we have the small poultry then we can have only we can we can manage with the one house that that uh, one house construction otherwise we have to build these three uh, three houses those who are being required as per the as per the poultry poultry size and as per the number of birds we are keeping that thing we have to keep in keep in our mind
so there there should be minimum distance 50 to 100 feet between chick and grower and that that we have already discussed the air store room office room and the feed store should be located near entrance to the minimize the movement of the people around the poultry shed that that we have to keep that these all these the, the administrative that 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 construction that we have to make that that we have to build in a way like that that it should be unnecessary movement of people to be avoided because we have to build these all these things that's just nearby to the entrance so if the if the if the food grains that come through the trolley we can have immediately stored in a store room if it is nearby the poultry farm then or nearby the the, the house which we have built for the poultry then uh, there, there there is a possibility of that that transmission of diseases through the people so and that we have to while we are building we have to think all these things the disposal of pit sick room should be constructed only at the extreme end of the site that that is also that where we have the disposals when we when we supply the chicks directly or sometimes we we supply the chicks after uh, ch- supply the birds after in finishing them so that 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 kind of that uh, that that uh, the disposal of uh, the all the raw the, the the material which is this is which we have to build the disposal that that, that at the end of the and and it's away it should be away from the from the main poultry building that is also very much important now this is the example that in what way we can we can construct that poultry house that that is that is in picture we have to have that kind of clarity now different type of poultry houses let us have a first look on the on the different that uh, the poultry houses those who are required in the, in the business of the poultry they are like that brooder or chick house it is used to brood rear egg type chicks from 0 to 8 weeks of age it means both uh, the the space requirement and everything is as per because the the size of chick is chick is is not that much of initially so we can we, because of we we have to that chick guard and everything the temperature we have to control that's why the brooder house to whom we are also calling chick house or uh, or uh, for both we have to have the, the similar that type of that brooder house is required uh, and here we keep the chicks for 0 to 8 weeks and in between uh, the 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 uh, zero to eight week <coughs> the feeding practice we have to adopt that we, we have to have for zero to four weeks we have to have a chick breeder uh, layer the layer chick uh, that the, the feed and then we have to whom we are also calling the starter feed and then after that we have to change in the ingredient and that uh, to uh, the intent is very clear in the case of the broiler that uh, we have to attain the maximum and uh, we have to enforce the but they ensure that uh, they have earned the uh, the maximum body weight so in that case we have to uh, 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 change the, the feed and to whom we are calling the finisher feed so that is that is that is initially that that the brooder house which we did when we received the uh, chicks from the hatchery now the grower house the brooder house is self sufficient for the for the for the broilers because after that we don't require any any housing for them because we are sending them for for the, for the chicken purpose in the market so that that that's it brooder house itself is sufficient for the for the for, for the purpose if we are doing poultry with the intention of the broiler broiler farm but when we we we, we are proceeding for for the for the for the layer layer housing layer business then we have to build a grower house where we keep the birds from 8 weeks to 18 weeks that is the time actually when they attain the they, they attain the puberty or sexual maturity so up to that time we require the different kind of feed ingredient because here we we want that they should they should they should be very much active and they they should not attain unnecessary weight so we when we we select the in the house we will we'll keep is these all these arrangements we have to feed her and water her that we have to make and ensure that they they are to be for the grower is growers itself and that is the time when we we call this time as a grower growing period so that's why we are calling them the grower house now the we can we know that the there are brooder come grower house that because if we are reared unnecessary avoid unnecessary that construction so we keep that the, the simultaneously we will we'll expand the 
if that house or broader house in, in we convert it into the grower house if we have the, the same birds population <coughs> but and here we will keep the birds from the 0 to 18 weeks and uh, they, they will remain over there and then the layer house uh, here the birds we keep for over 18 weeks of age and now they have started giving eggs because we know that the birds started laying at the 4 to 5 uh, months age so that is the time when we because the entire that uh, that activity we have to kept under our control because after the 4 5 months that that the entire that that, that that exercise which we have done that the results started from after that so that that is the time when we have to we have to keep the birds in in in, in a very isolated that the chambers or sometimes we, we, because in the day, in the ph system we that that we, we can ensure that the when whenever the she laid the egg that the egg, egg will automatically come into the egg tray because if we we'll allow them the deep litter system or like that then they are the traditional system actually but but the, the, the losses of this system is that we when when she give the egg we have no immediately control over that so sometimes the egg to be to be to be to be destroyed by the by the other birds and uh, that that and sometimes that because of that reason we'll see that the the, the egg collection the, which is the prime business objective uh, it, 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 it damaged that, that, that situation. So layer house in which we keep the birds over 18 weeks of age and usually up to 72 weeks of the age we, we are keeping them. It means this is the 72 weeks so that is the time actually. Uh, to, we can say that around two, two and a half years we can say like that. So that, that is the time actually. That is the time up to that uh, that will uh, 15 to 18 months we, we are keeping these birds because the, the prolif prolificity or giving egg that laying capacity is, is up, up to that and after that uh, the laying capacity of birds decline line uh, everything uh, anything that's why we will send them send them out of the out of the out of the out of the poultry farm for for, for and we can consume them as a, as a chicken so that that is that is the time period when we have the highest uh, in between that. 18 weeks to will start that period is start and it will up to the 72 weeks that is that is the, that is the highest that the period which we have the maximum egg collection from these birds and we know that the it's a 20, 24 to 25 26 hours it, it will it will receive the eggs from the birds then only we can say that the poultry farm is giving 80 percent or 90 percent or like that that laying capacity and then that, that is that is the, that, that 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 is very much required for the economic viability of the business. Now we have a broiler house in which in which broilers are reared up to six weeks of age. These are the houses where we'll keep the broiler for the six weeks if we have the separate that grow grows. Now the breeder house, these, these are also generally we'll find these kind of houses in the in the in the hatcheries. Where, where they are maintaining their parental stock, they build the breeder house also, in which both male and female breeders are maintained at appropriate sex ratio that we know that the within, if it is on and around 10%, it means with 90% that female will be keeping the, the, the cock up, up to 10%. So that ratio is very much required in the breeder house, breeder house. and this breeder house is generally, uh, you will see that the, the poultry farm, poultry farm, those who are having the parental stock, and they are supplying egg to the fertilized egg to the to the hatcheries. In that case, they, they have this kind of that uh, that breeder house there. Environmentally controlled house they, in which the entire environment is manipulated in such a way that it optimum or for for the bird growth. That, that environmentally controlled that housing is very much important and it is having its own impact. That if we built a house like that, then in adverse condition we, we can save the birds. If there is adversity in the in the in the environment against that we can keep these birds in these houses and then we can we can we can we can sustain their normal growth and development so these are the important the types that we, we have discussed over here now we'll have a we'll have a, another discussion on the on the on the optimum environmental conditions for rearing the broilers this is specifically for broilers that uh, what, what kind of that environmental that uh, that things are required. So let us have a look on that one by one. We'll discuss.
so temperature in between that uh, 22 to 30 degree centigrade and it is on and around 70 it will we will 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 check in fahrenheit it's 70 to 85 degree fahrenheit this is the temperature which is which is being required in the brooder house of the for the for the broilers then relative humidity it is minimum side 30% and maximum side 60% in between if it is maintained then it is very much suitable for the proper growth and development of the chick those to whom we are rearing for the broilers then ammonia level because we know that the, the in broilers the proper ventilation is very much required because we allow them at least sometimes in initial stages 24 hours we will we will we, we force them to take the consume the feed uh, through by lighting in in the in, in the brooder house so in that case there there, there is lot of that uh, digestive activity among the birds and ultimately the result is the, the ammonia level with in the environment if we we are not able to maintain that um, environment level of ammonia in the in the in the in the, in the in on and around the birds so if we have to maintain that 25 ppm that that is that uh, it is the ideal situation where we can have ammonical that uh, that uh, that uh, ammonical presence in the in the environment if it is more than it is it is damage the damage the bird so let let us have kept uh, below the 25 uh, part per million million now litter moisture we know that there are certain challenges like oxidosis and uh, chronic respiratory disease crd they they are they are they are mostly because of the litter bond they are, they are being named as a litter bond disease so we for that for to avoid that kind of situation we have to maintain the litter moisture up to 15 to 25% so it means the proper that that we have to change the litter if, if it is more moist because because it can it can it can be be the 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 fab it, it may be favorable for the for the disease like coccidiosis because there are certain that in the, in the moisture in if, if it is higher if the litter is high in moisture because they they do their droppings on because the broilers they when they run here and there they 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 they, they spread the the the, the droppings in, in and the the, the in the, the broilers in the, in the, in the, in, the, in, the, in the litter so in that case what happen when uh, the litter moist and uh, dirt is there then there is, there are there, there are the possibility of spread of protozoal infections in the in the in the, uh, in, the in the litter and then it, they they may they may they, they may further uh, spread into the into the into the chicks and that that affect the entire business so coccidiosis is the disease which which is which is litter borne disease and we have to to avoid that situation we have to we have to control the the litter moisture and we have to maintain it in between the 15 to 25% if it is possible otherwise it it is going to affect the environment at the, that uh, that the economic activity of the farms because if there there, there is a oxidosis then we will see that the, the poor laying is there and sometimes uh, it will not control through the through the proper medication then we will see that the bird mortality in a, in a huge amount so that is that is why we have to maintain the litter moisture up to 15 to 25 degrees centigrade then the air flow the air flow that because we have to in the limit that can be only possible if we have the controlled uh, that uh, environmental that kind of housing but anyway the, uh, we have to that's why we have to cap this thing in our mind while we are selecting the site and building the build, building that uh, the, the, there should be a proper ventilation arrangement so generally when when the scientific recommendation is that we have to maintain the 10 to 30 meter uh, airs per minute that that kind of that uh, that uh, the housing is ventilated housing is recommended for the poultry farming so these are the there the optimum environmental conditions for rearing the broilers they they are the strictly after that uh, if we have because broilers we kept them a maximum of 2 8 weeks in our home so that that is that is the ideal situation that the temperature relative humidity ammonical level litter size and air flow that 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 uh, the scientifically being recommended which we have discussed now what are the actually the how housing principles that we will we'll discuss one by one so number one the housing orientation the direction what, what at, in what direction we have to build the houses that that we have to cap that poultry house should be located in a such a way that the long axis in 
east west direction because the maximum that that the lighting and 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 and, and that light to be available to the form that that we have to keep in our mind that the 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 the, the, the entry the entry of the poultry form to be in the east west direction this will prevent the direct sunshine over the birds it will prevent the direct sunshine but it the maximum that light to be available to the bird now the size is broiler require one require one square feet of uh, floor space while a layer required two square feet of floor space under deep litter system when we are keeping the bird under the deep litter system so the size of house depend upon the number of birds to be reared if we have a 10000 birds then we require the definitely higher big, big bigger size of, of, the, of the, the building but if we have 1000 or 2000 then you you multiply the, this minimum requirement for boilers we required 1 feet 1 square feet and for, for layers a thumb rule is like that uh, the the 2 feet uh, square feet is required for the for the for the layer birds so keeping all these things in our mind we have to arrange the the the, the bird uh, the, the space on on the basis of that we have to build the because overcrowding in any any condition to be avoided because it 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 destroys so many things it 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 it, it, it sometimes hurt the harmony in between the birds and so because of the infighting they 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 create, there are so many problems because in broilers we are also not doing big deep beaking so the the problematic we will will see the problematic bird sometimes the, the strong bird they are not allowing the feeding to other birds and they are disturbing them so that kind of that uh, situation to avoid that we have to give the proper space that already been 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 discussed with you with, with us that the thumb rule is that one square feet for boilers and then the two square feet for layer then the length the length of house can be extend up to any extent that 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 that, that is the availability of the of the, the, the land you have with you the number of birds reared and availability of the land determines the length of the poultry house that that we can we can see that width we can we can have but there so open the width the open sided poultry houses in tropical countries should have a width about 22 to 25 feet this is a general that 22 to 25 or 30 feet maximum that in order to allow the ample ample ventilation and aeration at the mid portion sheds wider than this will not provide adequate ventilation during the hot weather if the width of the shed is more than 25 feet there is ventilation at middle line of the that that we see if the will you need now the 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 width of the house and the in, the, in between the the house we'll see that the the proper ventilation we it's very difficult for us so that's why the maximum height uh, should not be increased uh, if, if it is possible we have to maintain that uh, that the width of the poultry farm to be on and around 25 feet hot air and obviously here gases which are lighter lighter than air move upward and escape through the rigid ventilation in environmentally controlled poultry houses the width of house may be even 40 feet or more since the ventilation is controlled with the yes if we are controlling the ventilation then it's okay otherwise if we are we are, we are habitating the birds in a natural environment and we don't have any any any, any control over the ventilation then we we we, we are not supposed to to increase the width of uh, more than 25 feet otherwise in, in commercial means if we are controlling the the if we have arrangement of controlling the ventilation then then we can we can we can increase the width up to the 40 feet now the height the height of sides from foundation to roof should be 6 to 7 feet and at the at the center 10 to 12 feet so we have to build the conical structure that that uh, in from sides 6 7 feet height is sufficient but 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 in in between we have to maintain that height up to 10 to 12 feet or it may increase up to the up to the 15 feet in the cases of cage houses the height is decided by the type of cage arrangements we have three tier tier four tier what kind of that that the, the housing we have we have fixed in the case system and that height to be decided on the basis of the of the system which we have adopted 
uh, for for the cases to the birds now the foundation will will the good foundation is essential to prevent seepage of water into the poultry shed the foundation of how should be concrete with 1 to 1.5 feet below the surface and 1 to 1.5 above the ground level that that is to be required for the for the safety and unnecessary that uh, the seepage and 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 and, 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 and uh, unnecessary that moisture inside the poultry farm then the floor floor should be made of concrete with rat proof device because that that is very much required free from dampness dump, dampness not to be there the floor of the house should be extended 1.5 feet outside the wall of uh, of both the side to prevent rat and other because we have to we have to use the the the, the, the anti rat that that that, that pesticide uh, to, to avoid that rat and inside the inside the house now then doors the doors must be open outside in case in case of deep litter poultry houses the size of door is probably 6 to 2.5 feet which is which is normal if we are building the poultry house we have to build the uh, we, we can we can take up to 6 to 7 feet that height and 2 to 3 feet uh, 2.5 to 3.5 feet that with with this is this is in between so if we we built we will build that uh, proper that uh, that and uh, but uh, at the entry we have to arrange that foot path and we, which is very much required because uh, because we know that the birds uh, the section is very much sensitive if we if uh, the, the unwanted people enters inside the inside the inside the birds for, for various that reason sometimes we we allow them to to enter into also although the entry of that uh, the 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 unwanted people to be avoided in the in, in, in the shed but uh, if if at all we are allowing them then let least we have to manage this thing that the foot bar to be there so that that kind of that kind of unnecessary spread because uh, in deep litter system this is this is a very 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 serious so this will become a very serious issue that's why we have to we have to keep this thing in our mind that the 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 door we have to provide the provide the uh, that uh, provision of this we have to make arrange and we have to give the provision of that uh, that food bath and to disinfect the person those who are entering in the in the in the cages then the side wall the side wall should be 1 and 1 1 and 1 and 1/2 feet height and generally at the at the level of birds back height this side wall protects the birds during the rainy rainy days or chill the climate although provides sufficient ventilation in case of the cage houses no side wall is needed in the case of the cage houses there is no no need of the side wall because that that because we have we are keeping the birds in the cages now the roof the roof of poultry house may be thatched titled tiled as we, we we can we can keep with with the with the asbestos asbestos sheet sometime or concrete one depending upon the cost involvement different type of roofs are available as, as a shed gable half monitor full monitor that that flat concrete gable gothic etc gable type is mostly preferred in the gable type is probably preferred in the tropical countries like india this 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 is the this is the recommendation for the for the roof now overhang the overhang of roof should be not will not be less than 3.5 feet in in order to prevent the entry of rain water that 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 we have to because uh, that that uh, 3.5 feet we have to we have to increase from from the from the from the side walls that that is very much important to avoid uh, that rain rain sometimes the, the cross rain sometimes the rain with the hazard that hurricane system that that uh, unnecessary that water that uh, entry of the rain inside the shed so that 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 to be avoided now lighting light should be provided at 7 to 8 feet above the ground level must be hanged from ceiling in in case dense bulbs are used the uh, inter interval between two bulbs is 10 feet which is, which is ideally recommended in case of the fluorescent or tube light or sometimes the interval uh, interval is about to be 15 feet so that kind of that kind of that thing is required and we know that the in the boilers we, we we are providing the lighting more than 24 hours in initial stages then we can we can we, if we find that the, the 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 growth and development of the birds in in a, in a desirable direction then only we can reduce the uh, timing of lighting otherwise we initially will provide them the lighting up to 24 hours then 
then the system of housing at least in last uh, we, are, we, are, we are we are discussing the, the what kind of system we are, we are having in the, the poultry housing poultry can be housed under different systems based on the following factor availability of land cost of land type of farming activity climatic conditions labor availability these are the basis actually on the basis of that we can we, we, we can build the house and uh, we will we'll find in, in uh, the availability of land is very much important and then the cost of land is also important because the uh, entire thing depend upon that that how much we have in our city so to purchase the land then the type of farming that what kind of activity we are going to be we, we, we enforce over there so if we have broilers then we definitely we require the different type of that if we, we are going for the layers if we are going for the hatchery it was that kind of that if you are going for the breeding houses then we require the different kind of that that that, that, that the housing so type of farming activity it, it depends upon if we are going for the poultry but then it is okay if we are going for duck farming if we are going for the ducks then then it it is a different kind of that that housing we require then the climatic condition they are, they are also very much uh, important that if in in the in the hilly area we require the different kind of that that uh, the, uh, the, the temperature control which is required in for initial stages then we 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 we, we require the different kind of that housing system in the, the desert area because in desert area we know that the temperature is going rising more than 42 degree centigrade so in that case the, the entire world will die because of the heat frustration so in that case we have to have that kind of that arrangement that we maintain the temperature uh, about 32 degree fahrenheit uh, 32 degree centigrade or even less than that so because we know that the room temperature is the ideal situation on and around 5 degree plus or minus is the is the, the requirement so that the climatic conditions the humidity that that all the things so on the basis of that we will we'll build the house now we know that the labor availability is one of the time that that that, that requirement before building the, the houses because if the labor is not available at a cheaper rate then how will run the the, the house poultry in 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 in, 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 in in a economic viability manner so now looking to all these things uh, broadly poultry housing system are classified among three systems number one free reign or extension system this was initially when when the ancy when when the in, in the ancestors era we'll see that the ancient era will see that the, the poultry it's a free reign system there is no that uh, the demarcation of the boundary or anything this system is nowadays almost over because in the, in the wild life it is okay but now in nature in in commercial means uh, that that system is being outdated and he, because this system is not not fit as far as the business is concerned because here we we have no control over the bird where they are going at, at where where they are giving the eggs and uh, we we cannot protect them with the natural that the enemies of the birds so that that kind of that free reign system or extension system nowadays being being outdated and nobody is using and in any other country that will not find this kind of arrangement now semi intensive system here we have uh, the, the open area for in backyard poultry we we have we will we, we'll have this kind of arrangement at at our at at, 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 at in our country we will see that where the people they are keeping the birds for the domestic use for the domestic use only they are not selling the eggs they are not selling the chicks uh, the the birds for the for the chicken purpose but they are keeping the birds for their family consumption so in that case they they are keeping the birds in a box and then uh, then they are they are allowing them for entire days and the very 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 little bird little bit of feeding they are, they are giving them in morning or evening otherwise in whole day these birds they are, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are traveling here and there and uh, whatever the insect pest or whatever the the, the the natural that thing which is available in the in the in the, in the, in the, in the environment they, they are consuming that thing so that that is this is the thing to whom we are calling the semi intensive system now in commercial means we have only that uh, that the intensive system and uh, under the intensive system where we we are keeping the birds intensively and we have one thing in our mind that we have to earn the earn earn the profit from these birds so that that uh, that is the thing which which is generally being being addressed in the intensive system so here we have a three type of that incentive intensive system number one is deep litter system second one is slatted floor system and then the slat come litter system so deep litter system this is widely being used in the, in, the, in in all over the country where we have a, a small number of birds for commercial means 
for example if we have 2000 3000 or 5000 birds uh, in 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 the in the, in the in the poultry and we are doing the layer business the layer we are keeping them as a layer so we will build the house accordingly and we are keeping them on the litter and litter is generally the we are using the sawdust or rice bran as as a, as a litter and we are we are we are keep, we are providing this litter up to the uh, up to the uh, up to the 5 uh, to 6 inches uh, in, in in the in the, in the depth so that kind of that litter system we are having and we have to change this litter uh, after that 15 weeks of time and uh, and we with the introduction of new birds definitely we have to have a new that litter and that and that litter is very much used in the in the in the in, in, the, in the farming as a manure so that that is why that, that uh, we have the simultaneous arrangement when we we are we are we are introducing new birds then we have to we have to arrange this thing that we have to keep this thing in our mind that how we are we are using then the slatted slatted float float system is also there where when we are keeping on 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 the on the bamboos or iron bamboos uh, iron rods that that we we are arranging simultaneously and we are using the bird we are keeping the birds on them slatted floor it means that we we are, we, have, we are making arrangement it's it's a floor above the floor so that that is kind of thing that the entire that the, the droppings would be go in, in down the down the slats which we have then the set clump litter that the half of the area we we have the slatted thing and then we have the litter also that that three type of that that system we are having so now so now that 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 uh, that we are reaches to the end of the end of, end of this, this, this session and now i am i am i am very much thankful that at least you have you have kept your patience so we have i i conclude with that today we have discussed the things which we have started from from the beginning that we have learned the principles and the the, the site and the uh, housing arrangement in, in the poultry housing then we have gone through that what kind of that type of uh, the houses which will be required and uh, selection of location we have also discussed we have also discussed the layout for for the poultry farming then we have discussed the different type of poultry houses that grower house grower house grower house then we know the grower come grower layer house and grower builder house also then environmentally controlled house these all are the buildings those who are being constructed in in poultry farming then we have discussed the, uh, the principles of the, the poultry housing that housing size land width height foundation floor and doors side walls roof overhanging then the lighting then we have discussed the systems of uh, poultry housing that uh, can be housed at different system based upon the following factor that, that the land the cost of land the type of farming activity climatic condition labor availability all these are the factors on the basis of that we will build the will build the poultry housing and then finally we will we'll go through the the the, 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 the name of the system those who are being available the free range system where there are extension system this is nowadays outdated because initially the in nature the poultry being habitat like that but uh, because of the disadvantages that we, we cannot control anything in, in the system that's why we, we the, the the system was nowadays outdated then we have a semi intensive system this this system is generally being available in the in the backyard part for poultry farming where we are not going for the commercial purpose uh, we, we are just keeping the birds for our domestic use so in that case we have a uh, lot more than uh, 100 of birds like that so in that case we 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 are arranging them in a, in in a boxes and then we we are allowing them entire day in the free free uh, that that the pen movement in allow in in a certain restricted area then we have a three that that uh, intensive system deep litter system flatted system and the slat complete deep litter system so thank you very much for for participating in the in the, in the lecture